What's up guys? I'm at the Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, and I'm at the Gerber booth, and they had some cool stuff that caught my eye. Kylie here Hello. is gonna tell you all about their stuff. What do we got here? Yeah, hi, um, so my name's Kylie. I work at the Portland plant. So we brought a couple things down with us, um, mainly what we're sending with the guys right next door with where the road ends. We are sponsoring their trips. They're taking an expedition all the way from the tip of Alaska down to the tip of South America. Oh, wow. They're taking these bikes. There's about four of them outfitted with all of our gear um, and a lot of other sponsors. So they're going to be you know, hardcore testing this stuff out. Oh, yeah. Out. They're going through the jungle. Um, they're uh -huh. actually going through the Darien Gap, which is about 100 miles of straight jungle. No wow. roads, nothing. That's crazy. So we set them up with some pretty good gear. Um, I'd like to talk to you about this center drive, which actually... We just moved to 24-7 manufacturing in our Portland plant because of this guy. It literally broke the plant. That's cool. So that's um, made in the USA. That's made awesome. Made in the USA. It is our new multi-tool, spring-loaded jaws. And a couple of reasons why this thing is so awesome is because it has a one thumb opening, this little guy right here. And it also has what it gets its name for, the center axis drive. I like that. Yeah, I know, That's it's cool. pretty handy. It's got better torque, better rotation. It's about 30% longer than anything you're gonna see from any of our competitors. It's got magnetic standard bits. You can just switch them out with anything you already have. But it does come with 12 in the sheet. So you can replace it and you don't have to buy proprietary bits from Gerber. Okay. It's literally whatever you need for what you've got. So this has a little liner lock that just locks it in place and closes it. It's got a full-size fine edge blade. Very nice. I like that you guys went with a plain edge versus yeah. the combo. Well, we've yeah. got, also it opens one mm -hmm. hand. Um, so there's a file, bottle opener, oh, nice. pry bar, nail puller, and all. A serrated blade. There's your serrated blade. There it is. That's what I like. I like to have a dedicated separate serrated yeah. blade. Yeah, we yeah. found that when we were uh, researching this product, so you can carry an extra uh, little bit there. Nice. So yeah, when we found, uh, we did some studies on that guy, and people use their multi-tool for three main purposes. It was the driver, the pliers, and the full-size knife. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to give people uncompromised tools. So mm -hmm. what you're actually using it for. Um, you're not going to find 20 tools on this thing. It's only got 12. But it's got ones that matter. Those so. are the ones you can use the most. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I know guys are going to ask when they watch this video, how much is this one going to cost? So this retails for $119 on our website, gerbergear.com. And uh, we've got a couple of exciting new variations coming out next year that we are working on currently. So stay tuned for that as well. Sweet. Well, I'll meet up with you guys at SHOT Show. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll see you. Cool. Hopefully we'll have something for you. Cool. What else we got here? <laughs> so we've got some machetes. Um, we're sending these with all of our guys uh, with Where the Road Ends as well. That That's is the broad cool. cut. It's new pretty ideal for vines, low brush, um, that notch there at the top actually is great for pulling down vines or branches so you can reach them and then cut them. Pull down. Um, cool. The clear path here has a dual edge so it's got a full size fine edge as well as the saw blade. It's really light and packable so you can... Yeah, it is pretty light. Yeah, you can just throw it in your backpack if you're going on a day trip or something. Um, I should mention that all of these have sheaths. They were just blowing around so um, <laughs> but they all have away. black nylon sheets that are wow built this built sucker in. is heavy that is the gator golok machete so it's one of our thickest blades that's you can cool see. it's I got some it's weight. about a quarter of an inch thick yeah. um it's got the gator grip on it which we're pretty famous for from the gator knives back in the day mm -hmm. but um that just gives you an over mold a rubber over mold grip so it's comfortable it's not going to burn your hand out mm -hmm. really quickly or anything I can imagine swinging this thing at a branch and the weight of this would just slice it's through it. Yeah, this thing is heavy. It's heavier than you might even actually yeah. think. But um, yeah, so we've got those cool. there for them. We've got some of our hatchets over here, just camp hatchets. This caught my eye. That's, What's going on here? What is going on with this? Yeah, of course it caught your eye. This is yeah. the downrange tomahawk. So it's actually a breaching tool um, mm -hmm. designed with military folks in mind. Mm -hmm. um, it has three main functions, the axe. Yeah, let's, let's show the blade off there. Take it off. Nice. Yeah, so it's got an axe, a hammer, and then a pry bar down here at the end. It's actually forked, so you can get into nails as well. But the, it's got a the axe head has a handle, so you can That's really cool. get in and use it. Um, I should mention that the handle is covered in G10, so 
super grippy, um, even when it's wet, so you're not going to be slipping around. And the sheet is Molly compatible, so we've got straps here for those folks. But it might, it's really light, it mounts well on a backpack. Yeah, that's um, not too heavy. It's not too bad. Cool. And then these here? These here um, are our, yeah, that's the 9 inch hatchet, 14 inch hatchet, and then the 17 and a half inch hatchet. So those are forged head axes. Forged steel, nice. So yeah. that's tough. It's oh, tough. They've got tough. some weight to them. Um, and those are in partnership with our folks over at Fiskars, who have been creating knife, knives and um, axes for a long time. And the last thing that we have here um, that I'll show you is the US Assist. So this is our this is brand one. new assisted opening knife. So it has what we lovingly call boss tech. Balls of stainless steel. Balls of stainless <laughs> steel. Balls of steel. <laughs> I love it. Um, we had fun with that in marketing. <laughs> um, so it has a ball bearing system in it. So what that does is it gives it smooth, consistent opening every time. These are tested 10,000 times in the Portland plant. So, you know, they're going to open every time. What steel is this? Brother? So this is S30V. We have another version that is also 420HC. The S30V is stone washed, so it's a, a separate process that it goes through for that uh, blade finish there. So the S30V blade, that's going to be a little pricier then. It is. It's about 119 retail price um, on our on our website, and then the 420HC has a black handle, and it also comes in fine edge and partially serrated, and that one runs about 99 bucks. So both have the. Um, scratchers is in pocket clip there on the back so if you run into your car your bike anything like that you're not gonna i like these kind of pocket clips some people don't but i like them because they're super lightweight and they're kind of deep yeah they, they do they, it right helps the knife ride a little bit lower in your pocket as well and i think i was telling you before one of my favorite features about this knife is oh, yeah. the dual ramped thumb studs so take a look at those it's they're ramped. ramped so normally when you have an assisted open knife you get like a tiny little nub that gives you a callus on your thumb yeah it kind of hurts open it day after day these don't they're it's intuitive ergonomic. you just put your thumb on it and up and out and it's really easy to use um it's a small feature but i think people that use their knife every day will yeah. It. It's I like it. In the USA, right in our Portland plant. Cool. Oh, you can switch the clip around too. You that's can. Nice. It is reversible. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Interval and I, I can I can vouch for it, guys. The ball bearing system on this thing, it is super smooth. That's that's slick. Yeah, and the like one it. other thing. So well, it's got a plunge lock, which um, is easy to use. And then that other little button at the top, if you turn it over, that yeah, it's a cross bolt safety system. Oh so wow. What that does is it locks the blade in place when you're in use. So it almost makes it like kind of like a hybrid fixed blade, huh? A little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so you can lock it in place when it's open. And then so you, you can't you're, close it. You're not going to no. like close it on your hands. And you can also lock it in place when it's closed. Just in oh, case so it doesn't pop in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. That's be actually tough to cool. do, but it's, it's very just an smart. Extra safety feature. So. I like that. Yeah, That's I know. Cool. It's a pretty smart design, you know. They. Um, our folks in the in the Portland office did a great job with that, all of our engineers and product designers. Cool. What's your website before we go? It is www.gerbergear.com. There you have it, guys. Gerber at Overland Expo. Check them out. And if you're in Portland, you can stop by your factory, right? Yeah, let us know. Um, we don't have a retail shop there, but we'd love to give you a tour around. Are you guys going to have a retail shop eventually or no? I don't know. You should. You really we should come space on. Right now. We're too much cool stuff. <laughs> That's true. Okay. There you go, guys. Check them out. Thanks. Kylie at Gerber Overland Expo. Awesome.